Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. Apologise if my voice goes at any point. I've got a really, really sore throat. Not brilliant. Don't really want to be ill, so I'm trying to fight against it. Um, if I keep looking over here, my laptop's here. Uh, obviously, Burroughs line up. I obviously took on Sheffield Giant on, uh, obviously on Wednesday night. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into you know, player ratings. We all know how the game went, you know, if you haven't seen my review yet, I'll leave it on screen somewhere towards the end of the video. And of course, you know, if you haven't seen the match day vlog, that'll be on screen somewhere as well, come the end of the video. But in terms of the game, as I've already said, you know, we got beat 1-0. First half, we matched them. Second half, we got a man sent off, all went down the pan. Let's start with the goalkeeper then, Darren Randolph, uh, who I said, listen, he kept us in to an extent whereabouts. If he wasn't in goal, we would have lost that game 3 or 4. Let's be completely honest here. There's no point saying we would have done because we probably would have done. There was chances before they had a disallowed goal. There was one in the first half. He was going straight to the top corner and he picked it out. He kept in that game. And listen, that's two chances there. But then two chances, it's another day they could have gone in. If Randolph wasn't playing, etc. So his player rating, I'm going to give him an 8. I thought, I thought he kept us in it. You know what I mean? He, or should I say, I thought he kept the scoreline down. Because listen, it could have been worse. Um, the man that got sent off then, Daniel Ayala, said he to do it, really said he to get a red card. We go into Blackburn now on Sunday, we go up three defenders, Shotton, Fry and Friend. We might have to call up Mutovic, we might have to get Spence as well, obviously, you know what I mean, from the under-23s. Um, it's good that we can actually fall back on them. Not ideal, not ideal, them lads haven't really played in the championship sort of fixtures this season, so they don't have much experience in that, but what can we do? Uh, of course, Flint's injured as well, got injured in this game. Got took off after the 34th minute. But yeah, Ayala, red card. It didn't help no one. I'm just going to give him a six. And of course, Aidan Flint, he went off with obviously an injury. He's nothing he could have done. He looked pretty strong until that point, to be fair. I don't know what injury he's picked up. But as far as we know, he's going to make a last minute thing on Sunday. Will he play? Will he not? But it isn't looking very promising. Can't really give him a rating. But if I have to give him anything, i give him a five. And that's just a neutral five. And nothing more I could give him. I can't give him less. I can't give him higher. Because of course, he went off with an injury. So Flinty. Nothing against him, he just gets a five. Uh, next one, Dale Fry. Um, picked up, picked up performance, I would say. And what I mean by that is, against Leeds, I thought first half wise, it wasn't really his game. I thought he played terrible. But he sorted himself out for Sheffield tonight. He played a little bit better than what he did against Leeds in the first half. So for Dale, I'd give him probably a seven. Uh, next one, Ryan shot and obviously played the right back position. Picked up a yellow card as well. But, you know, he didn't do too badly, Tommy you know I mean? just come back from injury, um, starting to find his feet again after the injury, uh, you know what I mean, he's not looking too bad for us, so I probably gave Ryan Shotton probably a six, yeah, he wasn't too bad, he was alright. Moving into the midfield then, uh, John Obi mckell he is sublime, he's absolutely amazing, um, what a midfielder we've got in John Obi mckell absolutely class, I'm going to give him probably a seven. George Savile, he left the pitch on the 67th minute, but before he went off, I thought he was attacking well, he was trying to get to where he is. Maybe he didn't have his best game because maybe he couldn't create that sort of space that he wanted to get into, etc. I'd probably give George Savile a 6. Um, who else is on here? Oh, sorry, yeah, as well. George Friend, I completely missed him. Yeah, George Friend, I'd probably give him a 6 as well. Uh, we'll go for Lewis Wing. Hit the bar for shot. Uh, but that's about all, really. I mean, yeah, okay, he's, he's our creative player. That's not be wrong. Lewis Wing is our creative player. He's a massive player in our squad. Probably give him a 7. Johnny Housen's the next one. Um, yeah, Johnny Housen gives it all every single week. You know what I mean, runs himself onto the ground uh, every single week and week out. You know what I mean? That guy gives it. And Johnny Housen, for me, is a fantastic player for Middlesbrough. Uh, especially this season, he's really come on leaps and bounds. Really, 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 really impressed by him this season. Um, so, yeah, Johnny Housen probably get a seven. Uh, who's next? Johnny Ugill uh, played up front by himself for the majority of the game until, of course, Brits on Bologna joined him. He had a shot in the first half, always got tipped away. Um, but like I say, one up front, I think their back four sort of dealt with it. You know what I mean? They knew there was no real threat. You know what I mean? There's one strike up front, it's going to be easy for them. So yeah, John and you, Gil, for me, he tries and he tries and he tries. He's a battering ram at the top of the pitch. He gets all the ball, he needs someone there. If there's no one there for him, he gets intercepted, etc. He, it looked like he had a bit of a difficult game. I'm going to be real. I'm probably going to give him a seven. Yeah, probably give him a seven. The substitution, of course, down and came on. Didn't do too badly, do you know what I mean? Didn't do too badly, give him a six. Uh, Some Bongo came on, six, seventh minute, he had a one-on-one -on -one chance, it would have been great if he would have scored it. Didn't take it, you know what I mean? Decent save from their goalkeeper. 
Uh, probably give him a six. And of course, Van Lapada came on 81st minute. Can't really rate the guy. He only had nine minutes plus. So probably just give him the box standard five. But yeah, that's been the player rated for this week. What a wish for Zayt. And of course, now we're moving to Sunday. Blackburn away, it's going to be a really, really, really tough game. It's going to be absolutely solid. The preview for that one will be out tomorrow at some point. And yeah, like I say, Sheffield United, it's been, it's gone. Uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Our ends in defeat. We have to move on now. Blackburn Sunday, comment down below if you are going. And yeah, catch you guys then. Out of